Hi, I'm Kevin Connolly and welcome to the second video in our series on plow bolts. In our first video, we took you to the Rocky River Service Garage to show you some actual applications that plow bolts are used in. In the second video, I want to go through and start showing you some of the features of a plow bolt, uh, some of the definitions, some of the uh, technical aspects of how uh, these things are manufactured to give you a better idea of what the specs are that they're used on. Uh, the one thing to remember when we talked about plow bolts in you know in different applications, uh, different style of plow bolts can be used. Over the years, many different head designs have been used in plow bolts. Uh, that so many different head designs were used that we started numbering. There is a number one head plow bolt, a number two head plow bolt, a number three head plow bolt, all the way up to a number eleven head plow bolt. The one thing in our industry today is we've pretty much standardized on the number three head. The number three head is the round head design that is countersunk underneath the head and goes to a square. Um, the number three head uh, became the most dominant one mainly because Caterpillar Tractor, a major manufacturer user of plow bolts, standardized on that for their equipment. So that kind of pretty much standardized it across the industry. But the one thing to remember is it does depend on the application that you're using these on, what style of plow bolt you're going to use. Uh, as we mentioned last week, when you're dealing with smaller uh, plows that are on pickup trucks that use plow parking lots and stuff, a lot of those applications use what is called a carriage bolt. A carriage bolt is also a round-headed design with a square neck underneath it, but there's no countersink underneath the head. It's totally flat across the bottom. And, and to us, this is a carriage bolt. To a lot of plow equipment companies, they call this thing a plow bolt. The number three head is really used on size on the big equipment, on the uh, plows that are out plowing highways, the Department of Transportation equipment. Uh, they standardize on the number three head. Also construction equipment, when you're bolting a blade to your road graders and there, everything, most construction equipment is standardized on the number three head with the countersink underneath the head and going to the square. Now a couple things about the plow bolt designs and how they developed over the years. There is an industry standard for the number three head, ASME B18.9, defines the dimensions for a plow bolt. But the one thing this ASME B18.9 spec deals with what we in the industry call a flat head design. This spec calls out for a round head countersunk square neck bolt, but the thickness of the head is rather uh, significantly undersized compared uh, to what is currently used uh, in this day and age. What we in the industry have done, and which was kind of driven by caterpillar requirements, is we saw what we call a domed head. The domed head is still the round head countersunk design, but the actual thickness of the head is more substantial to the old flathead design that's listed in the ASME books. The domed head design uh, gives you a meteor head. Remember the one thing we talked about in those applications is domed heads get a lot of uh, wear and abrasion on them uh, when you're dealing with plow bolt applications. So having a thicker head with this raised area to be able to absorb more of the wear and last longer is a really nice feature for plow bolts. So this domed head design um, is really what's become the standard in the industry. Even though it's not in the standard book itself, most of us have standardized on going to this heavy duty domed head design. A uh, couple of things to, to remember when you're dealing with plow bolts is as I mentioned, Caterpillar is standardized on the number three head as their, as their most popular. Ernest Machine Products carries all the popular sizes for and all the applications. But one size I want to particularly mention to you about is the one and a quarter inch diameter. When you're dealing with Caterpillar tractors and they're using a one and a quarter inch diameter, the thread diameter on this product is one and a quarter, but actually the shoulder and the width cross flat underneath the head is actually larger. These the the width cross flat actually measures about one and five sixteenths, so it's oversized to the thread diameter. So when you're dealing with a one and a quarter inch plow bolt, when you're dealing with caterpillar equipment, they use what we call a raised shoulder design. You see that in our catalog and on our website when you want to order a plow bolt. Other equipment manufacturers make where the, the thread diameter is one and a quarter and so is the width across the flats of the square underneath the head. But for CAD applications, you really want what we call our raised shoulder design. The, the shoulder is a, a lot it's bigger in diameter, fits into their equipment uh, better. 
So one thing to remember when you're dealing with a one and a quarter size, there are two options for you, whether you have the standard shoulder or what we call the raised shoulder design. Now that's just kind of a quick overview of uh, the dimensional features that you deal with with the plow bolt. Next week we're going to talk about uh, more of the hardware. Uh, we'll get, get into the grades of strength levels that are available with these guys and the assembly hardware that's used with them. What kind of nuts recommended, what kind of washers, lock nuts, what's popular uh, in the industry. But thank you for joining us for this episode and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.